Welcome to our second tutorial in which we are going to show you more advanced editing with Screwit. We're going to start off with a straight facade edit. I've prepared some pictures and please pay attention while shooting because this is where straight image starts and I really tried to get in the middle of this building. We could go for the conventional way and simply readjust the vertical lines but this is not what I want to show you. First thing you want to do is turn off auto cropping, go back to our vertical lines correction filter and max it out. Confirm and in case that's not enough and you need some more adjustments simply save and reopen it and you could go even further. Now let's go to the rotation filter and check if we need some more adjustments. So some little ones by tapping the corners you go into the high precision editing mode. Other side maybe you overdid it. One, two, three punches, four. That's good. Confirm. Next up is the crop tool. So we are going for a one by one ratio because we want to have it for Instagram. Double tap to zoom in and simply by dragging the corners you can readjust the crop frame. The other side and now we are going to reposition it with a two finger gesture at the top of the building. That's it. Double tap to zoom out. Confirm. And this is already looking quite good. At the top you can see that it's still a bit wonky. This is because of the lens distortion. Let's go to the lens correction filter, readjust it, some further rotation, and that's it. A perfectly straightened out straight facade shot. Here's another quick example, and again, a straight shot starts by positioning yourself right. We're going for the vertical lines correction, and zoom in, find a guideline to be even more precise. A little bit here, that's quite good. Confirm, and at the right side you can see it could use a little bit of rotation, so let's go into the rotation tool, slightly confirm, go back to your vertical lines correction a tiny bit, and we are done. So we've just corrected this image with two little adjustments, and now we are ready to send it to Instagram. And this is a non one by one ratio image, and what Screw it does is it generates automatic white borders, so you are ready to upload it right from the app. With this picture I want to show you how you can isolate, for example, this tall building in the background. So let's change the grid to red, turn off the auto cropping and go for our vertical lines correction filter again. Once you're familiar with the features in Screwit, you're going to start to approach your mobile photography differently because now you're going to be able to create way more compositions and see way more shots. Jump into the rotation tool some further editing, you're gonna even create a feeling for screw it so you won't have to zoom in all the time. It's gonna get straight after a while. And now it's time for some cropping. The fun thing about the crop tool is in the beginning people really did not like the fact that you have to move the crop frame with a two finger gesture, but this allows you to zoom into your picture, to really readjust your crop frame size and to reposition it in any state. So this may be the most advanced crop tool out there and I am really enjoying it and I hope you'll give it a try. Don't worry if you're going to see a white line on the side because we are going for some lens correction. Simply push it out a little bit and now prepare for the before and after. This is what we've just done. Now let's edit a different kind of shot and what I really like about this one are the details at the top and I do not want to lose so much information in general. I'm going to switch off the auto cropping again and go for the ratio filter this time. Um, squeeze the image quite a bit, minus 13 looks good. Confirm, we don't have to but we want to go for a vertical lines correction again, minus 5, hit confirm and check if we've done a good job with a little one by one crop. I think this is looking quite good. We got a little barrel distortion situation at the sides. Jump into the lens correction filter and simply pop it back in. That's it. Minus one. Confirm. And with these little adjustments we have created a completely new image, a completely new composition and if you won't tell anybody that you have edited it so much, nobody will ever know. Try it out yourself, have fun and enjoy. With this last picture I want to show you how you can straighten an image with two different steps. First thing we're going to go for is the black grid and now for a classic perspective correction. Um, not so much here with the vertical correction because I can see that the Eiffel Tower in the back is wonky. Go for some rotation and now align it to the building right next to it. 
that's good, confirm, and this is what we've done. But what I really don't like is the line at the bottom, but if I would now go for the horizontal correction, as you can see, there's a new distortion coming up, and this is what I want to avoid, and there's a simple workaround where you can save it to your camera roll and reopen this picture. In our upcoming updates, we are looking forward to solve this problem finally, and now by re-importing it, you create a new canvas, and you won't get this new distortion anymore. Now I can align this power line at the bottom, confirm, this is what we've done in step two, go for some little lens correction, and we're done editing it. I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial, learned something from it, and yeah, give it a thumbs up and comment below if you've got any questions. Goodbye.